ACT CRAM, English Language Conventions, Verb Tense, Past Tense versus Perfect Tense. As you may already know, or you'll soon learn, we cannot discuss the perfect tense without building our concept of past participles. ACT Foundations, question one. Me, medicine, antidote your ignorance. Verb tense, past tense or perfect tense, question one. Complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb. Mr. McCoy blank about the year he spent in Thailand. Is the correct verb form A, spoken, or B, spoke? You decide. Here's what I need you to understand. The perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. It uses a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of a verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form, but not always. Some verbs have irregular past participles. You have to remember them. Toby had seen that movie. I have run a marathon. The tree has grown taller. Claire will have eaten dinner. These are examples of some irregular past participles. The past tense does not use the helping verb to have. It uses the past tense form of the verb. Toby saw that movie. I ran a marathon. The tree grew taller. Claire ate dinner. These are all examples of past tense verb forms. All right, back to the original question. Now for the solution. Spoken is the past participle of speak. It is used with the helping verb to have to form the perfect tense. Spoke is the past tense form of speak. The given sentence does not use any form of the helping verb to have. Hence, it does not need the past participle of a verb to form the perfect tense. Complete the sentence with the past tense form spoke. So answer choice B is the correct choice, and spoken, the past participle, is not necessary in this case.